Hello and welcome to Cigar Area. I'm Mike Simmons and tonight it is Sons of Anarchy by Black Crown. Uh, this is the 5x54 Robusto. It has a nice oily Deep, rich, brown, Ecuadorian, Sumatra, Oscuro wrapper. It has a Nicaraguan Criollo 98 binder and Nicaraguan long filler. Uh, this is a Nestor Placentia blend in conjunction with Black Crown. Uh, and I figured I've been doing a lot of kind of obscure cigars lately uh, some from small makers and from uh, some that are pretty much uh, available um, mostly by on the internet by you know online cigar shops so I figured I'd do something a little more mainstream something you can usually walk into just about any brick and mortar cigar store and find these because they're very popular uh, now last night I did a Christoph Sumatra also had an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper but it did not save that cigar it was very disappointing uh, this, as you can see, has two bands. One with the, of course, the Sons of Anarchy, Redwood Original, Sam Crow emblem, a nice tire track across the back, and then the bottom one says, Established 1967, Sons of Anarchy, Original, and it says black crown. So I take that bottom one off. Sorry about the background noise and <laughs> the windows open. Uh, as I was saying, uh, the Christoph Sumatra started out pretty good. And it kind of bombed about halfway through. Hoping the exact opposite happens with this. This cigar cost about uh, about five fifty individually. If you buy them online, you can get a five pack for like twenty four fifty, which brings them down a little bit. But five and a half bucks for the robusto. Mm. There's a kind of a sweet sweetness on the uh, pre-light draw. I don't know. I I I watched the. Uh, I never watched Sons of Anarchy when it was when it was on as a regular show. I I watched it. Watched the entire series on Netflix and it was really excellent excellent cast excellent acting really good show uh, not a whole hell of a lot of cigar smoking went on except Clay the one character and uh, but nonetheless they got a cigar. And there are some other tweaks to this. There is the uh, clubhouse edition and the chapel edition. Not tried either one of those.
nice leathery taste in the first puff a little spice on the finish a little bit of sweetness in there to be expected from the, this type of a blend the usual either earthy or leathery on the first puff or two and some spice it's a nice dark sweetness to it too very tasty uh, I I've had this is the second one of these I've had and the first one I had was over a year ago and honestly I don't remember I, I believe I liked it but I can't remember what it tasted like so this is sort of a fresh experience for me I haven't tried the other two the chapel and the clubhouse but I am in a couple weeks I'm planning a, a trip up to uh, Bethlehem to Cigars International and I know they carry all three blends in their store and I'm probably going to pick this one of each of those up I got this one at Sir Stogie's in Gilbertsville Pennsylvania close to where I live oh. leathery sweet spicy not too peppery, just kind of spicy. Well, that's my first call. Leathery, sweet, spicy. Continue into the first third. See what develops. And, uh, if I could think of some catchy motorcycle thing to say, I would, but I can't, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back with the Sons of Anarchy. Hmm. Got a fairly straight burn going here. About three quarters of an inch of ash. A nice, almost white ash, very light gray. Uh, the initial flavors from the from the first few puffs there I had uh, have pretty much continued on here in the first third. Uh, there's a nice leathery base flavor. There's a sweet underlying it's like a brown sugar type of a flavor in there in the sweetness and the spice on the finish kind of like a nutmeg almost like a baking spice type of a finish not so peppery as it is uh, or like a, a aromatic spice quite tasty uh, I think these are marketed as medium I'll have to check on that medium or medium to full uh, but it is a, it's a pretty solid medium as far as strength and body and the uh, uh, potency of the smoke is it's definitely not mild but it's definitely not strong enough to chase somebody away who you know hasn't smoked a, anything other than mild cigars so it's a good this is a good type of a cigar if you're uh, looking for something a little bit stronger, a little bit richer and hardier, but not uh, something drastic like a, like a diesel or something like that that's going to be, you know, it's going to be really strong, potent. So it has some, has some kick to it, has a little bite to it, but it's very rich, quite enjoyable so far. Uh, now, I had this Christoph 
Sumatra last night. Uh, started off nice earthy flavor, nice strong spice up to about the middle and then it pretty much petered out and tasted like burnt wood. Uh, this tastes nothing like that. This is a nice, uh, definitely a, a Nicaraguan filler in there. It, it has the, all the flavor qualities that, that, that a, a good Nicaraguan tobacco has. And, you know, generally when Nestor Placentia is involved in the, in the blending, it's usually a pretty good cigar. Uh, he has a he has a uh, amazing talent for putting together flavorful cigars. I very rarely have come across one of his blends that's not tasty. So something to keep in mind. Uh, I've reviewed quite a few cigars that were that were uh, Placentia's. Uh, a lot of the house blends from JR Cigar are uh, Placentia blends. So that's another thing to keep an eye out for. A lot of times the, you know, the uh, ingredients can be the same, but the amount of each and where they, you know, the vintages, where they're grown, uh, could all make a difference. So, we'll see what happens. I'm very interested to see how this is going to progress. And be it fair or not fair to compare it to the Christophe Sumatra, I am just because I was a little ticked off because that was pretty much of a dog and. <laughs> I, I never had a bad Kristoff before last night, so. But at any rate, I'm going to keep going here. I'm babbling on and on, so I'll be back shortly with the second portion. Alrighty, <clears throat> back in the second portion of the Sons of Anarchy, Robusto. Tasty cigar. Uh had leather and a nice uh, sweetness and a baking spice nutmeg sort of a flavor the first third well, that's changed considerably in the second portion here has a very uh, rich black coffee flavor coming through now and the spice on the finish has turned into a peppery stronger spice so it's really picked up in body and in strength a bit too. And this is marketed as medium to full. And right now it's more toward the full range. Uh, really feeling it in my throat. That spice, much stronger. It really gets the sides of the tongue toward the back. And it's lingering a lot longer on the finish. And I like that coffee flavor. I'm having a cup of uh, uh, Starbucks French roast tonight with this and it's going very well I like that leathery I like that leathery taste I like that in the beginning that was really nice but I really like this coffee flavor too uh, it's not creamy it's not a creamy coffee it's very it's like black uh, strong black coffee flavor really up a notch in potency uh, it's very rich, very hearty. So I'm going to keep on going into the final third. You know what, though, I'm going to slide this band off at this point because it's it's loose, and uh, I'm actually kind of tired of playing with it.
very cool. Uh, has the uh, tire track on the back. Uh, the burn's still going pretty well. It's not quite as perfect as it was, but still fairly straight. Uh, the ash has been holding on for about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter at a time. Uh, it's a very firm, well-packed cigar. It's actually, it's really firm. But it has a good draw. It has an easy draw. Uh, no residues. No heat. It's very nice. So I'm going to continue on. Be back with the final third in a minute. All right, back in the final third of the Sons of Anarchy Robusto. Uh, <clears throat> burn pretty much straightened itself out. In the final third, uh, the flavor profile has remained <clears throat> basically the same as the second portion, except that the spice on the finish. It's gotten even stronger. It's even more potent. Now, I feel it on my lips, my tongue. It still has that coffee flavor as a base, <clears throat> but much spicier. So it, it got a little bit stronger in the final third here. And it's, it's more toward the full range now than a medium. So this is a, I've had some cigars recently where they started off strong, got more mellow as went along. This one is the opposite. This one started out more mellow, got stronger toward the end. Still not any heat there, uh, no harshness, it's very rich, but very hearty. Uh, strong black coffee flavor, strong peppery spice on the finish like a spicy cigar this is a good one very rich had the leather flavor in the beginning coffee flavor in the middle it had uh, nutmeg kind of a nutty spice at the beginning switched over to a peppery spice that lingered and now it's increased to a really strong black pepper spice with that coffee flavor in the final good cigar uh, definitely recommend this I'm definitely gonna get more and I'm really excited a couple weeks to uh, get up to uh, Cigars International in Bethlehem and uh, go up there occasionally and get a few cigars in the store that uh, I generally don't buy when I want to get some singles I go up there get some that I don't haven't tried or I or I don't want to buy a five pack of without trying them first but I know they have a, uh, a little tiny like a, it's like a closet made into shelves and they have the whole Sons of Anarchy line in there and uh, last time I was there I was going to get some and I didn't and I kicked myself because I picked this one up and uh, I wish I would have gotten the others. But uh, all in all, this is definitely a 10 out of 10 in my book. Uh, good price. About five, anywhere from like 450 in a five pack to uh, uh, five and a half for a single. Uh, well constructed, good burn, nice flavor profile. Uh, good identifiable flavors can't beat it so thanks for tuning in I'm Mike Simmons this is the Cigar Area come check out my website CigarArea.com uh, check out my other videos on YouTube I do have to say I would take this over the Christoph Sumatra any day this is a Sumatra wrapper grown in Ecuador did this cigar justice once again maybe due to the uh, 
blending skills of Nestor Placentia. Uh, it's a good blend, so definitely try one out if you haven't. So until next time, happy smoking. Watching this world for free.